Hello everybody, welcome back to Dev Money, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the five most common questions and concerns about using a Ledger Nano hardware wallet, or any hardware wallet for that matter. And I've seen online these five concerns come up way too often on Reddit, on Twitter, and pretty much anywhere else online where people are discussing crypto. Now, the first concern I see people have when they're setting up a hardware wallet is they ask, what happens if I forget my seed phrase? Now, you should be aware that this concern doesn't just apply to hardware wallets, it applies to any non-custodial wallet where you control the private key or the seed phrase. So this applies to ledgers, treasures, as well as MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, Phantom wallet, or any other non-custodial wallet. And this out of all of the five concerns I'm going to share is really the biggest one because no matter what wallet you're using, if you forget your seed phrase, you can't find it or you had it memorized but now you've forgotten it, there is no way to restore your crypto and you can really consider it to be gone unless you get lucky and somehow you remember or find your seed phrase. And if I could share my top best practice for storing and protecting your crypto and NFTs, it's to protect and safeguard your seed phrase. Don't let anyone have it and make sure that it's in a secure location where it won't get destroyed and you won't forget where it is. So if you have a hardware wallet or any wallet and you forget your seed phrase, know that you're pretty much out of luck. And the best thing you need to do to prevent that is to write it down somewhere safe and store it somewhere securely so you never run into that issue to begin with. Now, the second concern I see often pop up is people wonder, what happens if I forget my password? And sometimes people talk about their MetaMask password or their Coinbase wallet password, but also you're going to have a password on your Ledger device that you need to remember as well. And the great thing about having your seed phrase is that if you forget your password, your seed phrase is going to override that password. Meaning if you forget your seed phrase, it doesn't really matter because you can just restore your device or you can restore your MetaMask wallet and then you just set it up again with that seed phrase for that account. And then you have access to all of your crypto again and you can make a new password. So as long as you have your seed phrase, it's safe and secure, you shouldn't worry too much about forgetting your password, although you should remember that as well, just to be safe. Now, these next three are real big issues that I see people have with hardware wallets specifically. What if my hardware wallet, my ledger, or my treasure is destroyed, or what if I lose it? How am I gonna get access to my crypto or my NFTs again because I lost the device? Well, this is where you need to understand what the hardware wallet is actually doing. The hardware wallet isn't actually storing your crypto on that device, it's only storing the private keys to your crypto assets. This means that if your ledger is stolen or if it gets destroyed in a flood or in a fire, all you have to do is go buy a new hardware wallet and you can set that up with your old seed phrase from that initial hardware wallet, and then you have access all over again to all of your crypto assets and nothing has changed. And that brings us to the fourth question people often ask is, what if my ledger or my treasure is stolen? Well, the good news is on your ledger or your treasure, you're also gonna have a password that you need to use in order to access any crypto on that device. So even if you're at school or you're at work or something and maybe you leave your ledger on your desk and someone swipes it, unless they know your passcode, they're not gonna be able to do anything with that device. It's essentially useless for them. But if that were to happen and your ledger gets stolen and you're wondering if your crypto is safe and you wanna just move it all out really quick, what you can also do instead of waiting for another ledger or treasure to arrive via shipping is you can just take your seed phrase and then go make a new wallet with something like MetaMask and then you have access to all of your crypto and you can send it to another wallet. Although do keep in mind that in that situation, that seed phrase is now compromised because you expose it to the internet. And when you get a new hardware wallet, you're going to need to set up a new seed phrase and then send everything out of MetaMask and into the ledger. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about that. Now, the fifth question I often see when people are considering a smaller brand that makes a hardware wallet. People wonder what happens if the company that makes this hardware wallet goes out of business? Well, the great thing is that the majority of hardware wallets use the BIP39 standard. That's what allows us to see those private keys in that seed phrase format, either 12 or 24 words. So if you're using a Ledger wallet and then all of a sudden Ledger goes bankrupt and they no longer have any support and Ledger Live no longer works, what you can then do is just go buy a Trezor or another hardware wallet and put the seed phrase from your ledger into that Trezor and then you have access to all of your crypto accounts and all of your funds 
on that Trezor device and it's 100% secured. So I hope this has helped you see that pretty much all of your concerns that you're going to have by using a Ledger device, whether it's someone stealing your hardware wallet or you losing it or the company going out of business, as long as you've protected your seed phrase, you're gonna be totally fine and you can restore and get access to all of your crypto again on another device or on another wallet. And if you do wanna check out a Ledger wallet and support the channel, make sure to check out the links down below in the description. And also if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.